Yeah, Windows installation. Windows Media Tour. A media driver your computer needs is missing. Oh, for f Are you kidding me? What? I've just downloaded it. It's on my chip. How could it be missing? What the f... I've been up all night, Microsoft. I've not slept. I'm a bit twitchy and itchy. Put it frank, I'm pissed off. So anyway, not really Microsoft's fault. So, I'm not blaming Microsoft. What I'm blaming is cheap. Cheap. Rubbish. Stupid, crappy little... I can't even see that because I'm going blind. But anyway, it's the same song, 16 gigabyte. <clears throat> You know, Samsung's good. Anyway, it was only 15 quid. But I didn't know this until four o'clock this morning when I discover some chips, they're not as good as other ones. Because some chips can only be read by Windows. They can't be read by BIOS programs. Because they're shit. Some chips are not shit. They've been well built and properly done. So they can be used and read by a BIOS program. You know, the BIOS. There ain't no Windows installed. I'm trying to install Windows. Stupid chip manufacturers. Put that on the paperwork. These chips can only be read by Windows. Simple words, not technical terms and that shit. No one understands. I don't really, I know a little bit, don't know much. Anyway, so, cheap crappy little card that I don't really think you can see properly, but it's a Samsung 16 gigabyte, it's got the blue writing on it. You're never going to read that, I'm using the front camera anyway. So, I'm using the Alexa, which I got out on my GoPro. Uh, it's a 32 gigabyte card. It was fucking expensive. That was about £60, or £70, I think. I can't remember. I've had it a while. But it's a good card. So, I discover that at 4 o'clock this morning. So, I re... Basically scrubbed that card. <clears throat> Just keep that for my camera again. So, I scrubbed that one. And I download, again... I've done it several times thinking maybe. So I downloaded <coughs> with the Windows Media Creation Tool, Windows 10, onto that. Put it in the computer, boom, it comes on. It asks me for my key, I'm thinking shit hot. I've cracked it, I'm in. No you're not. Gets halfway through it, it says no. Nah. Computer says no. What now? What the fuck now? Anyway, I have no clue. But in all my messing around online, after I got this fucking message all the time, uh, oh yeah, thinking what the hell? Anyway, so I'm getting that message up all the time. That poxy message there saying that yeah, and that's, this is of somebody else's video. So anyway, <clears throat> I just brought that up so you could see it. So, where was I? Lighting my fag. Mm. So, in my hours of researching and trying to find out what the fuck's going on, I want Windows back, thank you. Pissing me off. I... It's come up with some stuff on Windows, on their website, Microsoft website, about downloading Windows 8 and 7. So I downloaded Windows 8, it's an iOS file. I thought, well, I haven't got any DVDs to write it to, so what now? And then I came across another thing, a little 
paragraph saying about Windows USB, Windows 7 USB tool to create from an OS file to USB. So I downloaded that Windows. Okay, hold on, I've got it up here. Let's get rid of this shit. Uh, so you're going to just go to Google. Not this, I can't flip my car here. Go to Google um, and put in. put in window win 7 usb tool and then i scroll down to the one there that says microsoft blah 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 windows usb dvd download tool microsoft store click there and then scroll down and click on Windows USB DVD download tool. Goes to another page. Da, da, da. You have to read it. I know, we don't like reading. Is my computer working? Shit, now I can't remember how to get to it. Why is that over? Oh, okay. Um, God, they make things so complicated, it really does my head in. But you need to download this tool. Now I can't freaking remember how to get to it. Uh, for Windows XP users, NetFrame, where you don't need none of this stuff, all you need is the tool. Using the Windows USB tool. I can't. Oh, what? This is the trouble I've had. I'm so tired. I actually can't remember what the hell I've been doing all night. Somewhere. My computer's playing up. Maybe it was this one. No, but I didn't go there. I, went, I got it from Microsoft. Microsoft Windows USB tool. Here we go. So it was that one there. There it is. Windows... USB DVD download tool, select English, download it. And then you have to go and download the Windows Media Creation tool from Windows. Just put that into Google, download that. This if you, this is if you're having this trouble that I'm having, or I had. I've now got Windows installed on my other laptop. Windows 10 completely installed, all updated, lovely, works fine. <laughs> no problems installing it neither. So go to the Windows creation, media creation. Um, oh God, I've got BIOS stuff up here as well because I've got locked out. So go to the Windows media creation. Um, download that, Windows, W-I-N. Media creation tool. <clears throat> Go and download that. Once that's downloaded, you will need a USB stick, um, and you do need a good one. If it doesn't work, then you need a different USB stick. Um, I haven't actually tried what I've done to make it work, but mine still wouldn't work even once I've done this. So I've done all the download of that, um, but it still wouldn't work. Anyway, download it, get it. Um, it will ask you um, 
if you want to create windows for another PC so do that but when it says do it on a USB stick um, don't do it as an iOS file or is it iOS? I can't remember what it's called now but do it as the iOS file I think it's that so if I go back into into here see I've got a Win 10 ISO file um, and then with the creation tool once you've got that file you dump that in a folder on your desktop so you know where it is once you've got that file open up I'll do it open up make sure you've got your USB stick installed into your computer and formatted I did mine in NTFS everyone says do it in fat it worked if it doesn't do it either or but make sure it's formatted clean nothing on it so it has to be nothing on it when you're doing an iOS because it, it, if you keep stuff on it it'll delete it anyway get that file And then go back into your um, files where you've got Windows 7 USB creation tool. Double click it. And then it'll say source file. And you just browse to the folder that you've got your file in. So mine's in. Uh, this PC, you know, desktop. Uh, mine's in that one, and there it is Win 10. So you click on that one, and then you go open, and then it puts it in there, and then you click next. Then it will start writing. Once it's done that, it'll be on that chip. My oh, messy ass. It'll be on that chip, and then you can just take it up, put it in your PC, in your laptop. You know, get it to boot from that, and you'll be in, my man. You'll be done. And that's what I did. Sod all this. Uh... Oh God, I, I I was like fucking. Doing stuff like what's it called? Um, the rapid storage technology, and then you get a load of files that don't match your computer. It don't fucking work. Maybe it did for a few people, but it, that's not. Look, Windows was created to just be installed. You shouldn't have to fuck about. I never have before in the past, and Windows wouldn't allow. It would be stupid. What? Missing files? That's crap. They're not missing it's the technology you're using doesn't work so just thought I'd let you know because I've had an absolute fucking nightmare and uh, well, I've had a nightmare of BIOSes because someone sabotaged my daughter's computer and put a password on the BIOS and uh, yeah that was tricky but anyway just thought I'd let you people know cheers <laughs>